Today we'll be having a look to see if the Boston Terrier, who we know to be quite the gentleman or woman, has a ferocious side. We'll be discussing whether they have a high pro drive and situations you may find yourself as an owner needing to deal with this. But before we dive in, I need to introduce myself. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show. If you're new here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about Boston Terriers. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. In general, it's widely known that Boston Terriers are lovers and not fighters. Although they were originally bred to join the fighting ring back in the 1800s, their trajectory quickly changed and they were then the first made in America dog who were companions to the wealthy elite. Boston Terriers were consciously bred to be smaller and calmer than Judge, the first of their breed. There isn't much fighting blood in them anymore, which means that they are an all-round gentle soul who prefers a pamper to some tough love. But, of course, they are still a dog and dogs have their vices. A Boston Terrier does have a high prey drive and there are some factors within their temperament that may bring out more of their wild side. When raising a Boston Terrier, do be prepared that their gender may influence their behaviour towards other animals. Females, in general, will be a lot calmer and happy to share a home or park with most others, whereas males can become defensive or aggressive if someone steps onto their turf. These factors can also come into play in relation to the way they approach dogs of the same gender. In general, dogs do better around those of the opposite gender, especially males. If your Boston Terrier is raised in a home full of other dogs, they will get used to being around others and thrive as part of a pack. They will count the other dogs as part of the family and someone else who they trust to give them attention, to play with them, and this is never a bad thing. Early socialisation will also help them be around other dogs and they shouldn't be too much of a worry. But do make sure you do a lot of work on the correction etiquette of saying hello. When meeting new dogs, it's important to keep your eye on their lead as they can become aggressive if they feel threatened. A quick pointer though, do avoid pulling on their lead when out and about as they can have breathing problems. This can really upset their throat and not aid the situation. Anyway, back to prey. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home, or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you wanna check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. The main issue with the Boston Terrier is when they are around smaller animals such as birds, cats and rabbits, although the terrier element of the Boston Terrier is now pretty much faded to dust, they are still a canine. Meeting new smaller animals can provide quite a lot of entertainment for your Boston. You may end up being off on the chase, but it's rare to find a breed where that isn't the case. When out on a walk, it's important you properly check your surroundings before taking them off the lead. It can result in a lot of running around on both of your parts, and if you're trying to get them back on track and protect the poor and settling bunny. Although, if you have any smaller animals in your home, you may have huge success when it comes to this relationship. If you have a calm and difficult to wind up cat with a Boston who gets enough chance to get their exercise out of their system, they may well live in perfect harmony. But there is an overarching disclaimer, which is that to be on the safe side, it isn't recommended that they're left unsupervised as accidents can happen. Whilst your Boston Terrier is a pop or adolescent, they will probably be a higher chance of predatory behavior. This can come out through being territorial, as they are so protective of those they love and want to make sure everyone's safe, they can lash out on people or animals that come close. Early socialisation will really help them get used to different situations and time will be a great teacher to help it sink in that you're not going anywhere. Knowing that you're in charge and you're protecting them can really help calm their behaviour. 
Overall, the American gentleman is just that, a calm and capable companion who will leave the fighting to the other terriers. It's all provided if you can commit to the training and attention they need to get there. No dog will automatically say no to a good chase or an opportunity to wind up a kitten. The groundwork needs to be done. As they get used to their routine and know what it is that makes you happy, they'll do all they can to keep you that way. Training will also help them focus their abilities with prey into a healthy environment. The exercise needs of a Boston can alter from dog to dog, so it's important to know what your pup needs. But many can settle really well into agility or obedience sports. If you feel your pup has a high prey drive and a lot of energy, they enjoy focusing and terrorising the neighbour's cat, giving them the chance to channel this into sport may help. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Boston Terrier videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show.